Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here in the freak shop. Right behind me there you can see is the acid lab, which is inside the Brocade 6x6. Now what I'm going to do through this video is if you don't have an acid lab, don't worry, I'm going to explain to you how you get one, how to set one up, and how you can make money using this business. Because it is one of the best solo businesses in the game. It'd be in the top five easily. And as far as passive businesses go, I reckon it'd be number two right behind the nightclub. Especially for solo players anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and explain how we go ahead and get this uh, business. Because you can't buy it from the website like you can with other businesses. It's completely different how you go about getting this business. Okay. So the first thing you want to do to get the Acid Lab is you want to open up your pause menu. Come up here to where the R is on the map. And you want to come up here and you want to start what's called the first dose mission. And this is going to introduce you to a character called Dax and some of his fooligan friends. Once you complete the first first dose mission, you're going to have Dax as a contact. And what I recommend you do is you call him and request work for him. This is going to send you on a what's called a fooligan mission. And you're going to need to do 10 of these fooligan missions in order to unlock the um, upgrade, equipment upgrades for the Acid Lab, which you're going to need in order to actually make a decent amount of money with the Acid Lab. And you need to do 10 of these, and there is a 48-minute cooldown, so that's why I recommend you start the first one as soon as you have Dax as a contact, and do these missions as soon as you can. And they only take anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes to do, so they don't take that long. So yeah, get into them as soon as you can. The quicker you get these done, the quicker you're going to have the equipment upgrades unlocked for the Acid Lab, and you're going to need it. Now, when you finish the Fooligan mission, go back and do the rest of the first dose missions. On the very last first dose mission, you're going to be awarded the Brocade 6x6 for free. And it is in there that you can put your Acid Lab in. And in order to do that, you just walk up to this character here. His name is Mutt. And you'll have the opportunity to purchase the Acid Lab for your Brocade 6x6. That's going to cost you $750,000. Okay, and once you've done that, you can then customise this however you like. And you can see here you've got the equipment upgrades. This is very important. I already have these unlocked. So you need to do the 10 Fooligan missions to get that unlocked as well. And that's going to increase the amount of money you're going to make with this business. Very important to do. Uh, one other thing, before you can actually uh, start your Acid Lab, once you've done the uh, six first dose missions, you are going to have to go on a quick supply run. And you'll just go out to a warehouse, load a heap of supplies onto the back of a flatbed truck with a forklift. And you'll need to bring that back to the freak shop. Okay. Uh, but as you can see here, once you have your Acid Lab, you can customise it however you like with different liveries. Uh, you can put a big scoop on the front here. I'll just show you what it looks like without the scoop. This big scoop is great. It works just like the Phantom Wedge, and this thing's an absolute beast once you get it out on the road. And you can put some mines in, and you can upgrade it. It's basically the same as any of your other personal vehicles, really. You can put lots of different stuff on it. And over here as well, you've got the custom uh, bike. Uh, the, 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 the delivery bike you get for um, doing all your delivery missions on, you can customise this however you like as well. Okay, so how do you resupply your Acid Lab? Well, with this one you don't have to actually go to your Acid Lab and do it. You can call Mutt on your phone from wherever you are and you can come here and buy supplies for $60,000. And uh, then that'll, be, that'll give you one full bar of supplies. Alternatively, you can call Mutt and rather than uh, buying supplies... You can uh, request the supply, uh, request a supply run, where it'll send you on a mission to collect supplies. But again, same as all your other passive businesses in the game, this is the least efficient way to do it. You won't get a full bar of supplies for this one. So if you've got the equipment upgrades, which I recommend you do before you start running this business, just uh, pay the sixty thousand dollars. If, however, you do decide to um, go and source the supplies yourself. Rather than going all the way back to the freak shop, through the interaction menu just there, I requested my Acid Lab to my location. And that's going to spawn pretty close. And then I, all I have to do is, you know, I could be at the other end of the uh, end of the map from where the freak shop is. Instead, my Acid Lab is going to spawn nice and close to me. There it is there, you can see. And just hop off and in I go. And that's the uh, mission done. But again, I recommend you get the equipment upgrades first. And I recommend you buy your supplies because, like I said, this is not going to do very much. You can see there down the supply bar, not even full. So yeah, buy your supplies. Now something else that you can do to uh, help boost the amount you're going to get paid for this is you come through to your interaction menu, Services Acid Lab, and you can come all the way down here and you can rename your Acid and that's going to give you a 5% boost. So at the moment you can see mine is set to normal. But yeah, if you go and you set it to something else, it'll give you a 5% boost on the sale. Alternatively, you can also walk up to Mutt inside your Acid Lab and you can request to buy supplies there. Or you can come over here 
to this side of the of the lab. And if your your supplies aren't full here, you can start a mission to go resupply rather than actually calling. But it's much quicker to call him. You can call him from wherever you are. Also, once every real life day, you can come up to this section here of your acid lab and you can give a quick boost to the speed that it's going to convert into product. Uh, this will speed it up for I think it's half an hour. So half for half an hour, it will give a boost to how quickly your supplies are going to get converted into product. So make sure you come and do this once every day. Next, let's just talk about the actual vehicle itself, the Precade 6x6. You can see here, with that bar on the front, I'm just absolutely ploughing through the, the traffic. And this thing is an absolute beast. It takes, I believe it's 48 rockets it takes to blow up. So it's, if you're getting chased by an oppressor, I think the limit's only 20 rockets on an oppressor. So you're not going to get blown up by a single uh, oppressor griefer trying to <laughs> ruin your day. This thing is an absolute weapon. I think it's one of the most armoured vehicles in the game. Might be second or third most armoured. So yeah, it's a lot of fun as well. And you've got the um, mines you can drop down as well if you are being chased by any other players on a ground vehicle or even NPCs. So yeah, look, this is an absolute weapon of a vehicle on its own without the uh, without the business that's attached with it. So how do you sell once your product is full? Well, it's quite easy. Just come into your acid lab and change the, the name of your acid if you haven't done so already, like I'm showing you right now through your interaction menu. And um, if you are doing your career progress, you do need to sell uh, one batch of acid under each name. So if you want to do that, you know, do that each time. I'm not too phased about that one myself, but here we go. So then you walk over to this side here. And just click right D-pad when you're ready to sell. And I recommend doing it in a in uh, in a public lobby, if you are a higher level player like myself. And the reason for that is that you're only going to get one sell vehicle, no matter how much su uh, supply you have in here. And you're going to get the high demand bonus as well for selling in a public lobby. So you get this this uh, dirt bike here, and there are three different sell missions you you get. This one here, I have five different locations to go to. I'll simply get off the bike and plant the um, plant the acid. In a spot there, you do on two of the occasions you will get the police after you, so you do need to just quickly hide from the police. And now, if you're worried about selling in a public lobby as well, you can use Ghost Organization. Like it's only twelve thousand dollars, I think it is. So the amount you're going to get on the sale of this, it's worth doing it to get that high demand bonus. You can do it in an invite only session if you choose. If you're um if you don't want to risk getting griefed, um, but you know for the most part, most people will leave you alone. And like I said, it's only the one sill vehicle, and you're on a bike, so getting away from other ground players, it is quite easy. You can zoom in and out of places you can't with a car. Another mission you can get is uh, you're going to have 10 single drops here, and this time it's kind of like a paperboy style of uh, mission. So you just drive up to each of these little buckets here, and you just like a paperboy, throw it into the bucket. And it can, it can be fun sometimes because you can miss the bucket. And yeah, like I said, it's... um. It's probably uh, the second quickest, this one, even though it's it's more drops than the first mission I just showed you. The fact that most of these are close together, and if you do happen to get the first drop spawn close to where you start the mission, um, this one can be done fairly quickly, a lot quicker than the other one. You're not going to have to hide from the, the cops on this one at all and lose a wanted level. Um, but you are going to get a couple of hippies here, so you do want to take these guys out, and um, you don't want to be trying to throw it in, because they are going to try and shoot you. So you want to take them out straight away, and then they're going to chase after you. Um, their friends are going to chase after you, sorry. <laughs> Not those two, because they're dead. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, it's um, this one, apart from that, you know, you, you, you're doing these pretty quick. They're, they're fairly close together, all the drops on this one. So even though it's double the amount of drops as the first mission, you can get this one done pretty quickly. And then once you've got the final one done here, you just simply drive away. And if you stay on your delivery bike, driving away from these ones, and the first mission as well, actually, if you drive away on the delivery bike, you're going to get an extra boost to your RP for this mission as well. So I recommend these first two missions I've shown you to, yeah, drive away on your bike. Okay, and now I'll show you the third and final cell mission that you can get with this business. So what you're going to do is you're going to get told to go to one of three parking lots. So this is one down here at LSIA I've been sent to this time. And the game's going to make you believe you need to go to the top level and there's going to be a car up there that you need to plant the uh, acid into the boot, or sorry for you Americans, trunk of the car. Uh, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is come to the bottom level here. And this car you can see here with the person sitting in it, that is an unmarked cop car. So if I shoot that... That's going to give me a wanted level. Now, alternatively, if I went to the roof and uh, planted it 
in the trunk of the car, the boot of the car for my fellow Australians, uh, that would have given me a wanted level either way, and I would have been told to lose the cops no matter which way I went. So doing it this way and shooting the car at the bottom, it's it's gonna uh, make it that much quicker. You don't have to drive all the way to the top of the of the car park to do this. So to lose the cops, what I like to do is I like to go into the subway, whichever wherever I am. Um, the nearest subway and just just go down in there because it, it works the same as the sewers the cops don't come down in here looking for you So once you come down in here, and then you lose the cops. It's going to give you an alternate drop and That is going to be this location just here So now I simply leave the subway and as I'm approaching the coordinates here I will just call in my oppressor mark 2 if you don't have an oppressor call in whatever vehicle you can your personal vehicle Whatever your active personal vehicle is maybe and once you've parked onto the back of the truck here, just simply hop onto your vehicle and drive or fly away. And then once you're far enough away, it will pay you out. And if you're watching this in the future and you're, you're not getting as much as I just got then, that's because, remember, this is double money at the time of recording this video. Now, the reason for the equipment upgrades is important is because to get a full acid lab with the equipment upgrades, that's only going to take one and a half resupplies. So that's only going to cost you $90,000. And you're going to get... I think it's $350,000 on return doing it in an invite-only session. Of course, more if you do it in a public lobby with a high demand bonus. And it's going to take, I believe it's three full resupplies if you don't have the equipment upgrades. And I think it's only about $230,000. So a lot less profit. You're spending $180,000 and getting $230,000 back or thereabouts. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's roughly about that amount. Your supplies will also get converted into product faster with the upgrades. I believe it's four hours to fully convert um, a full acid lab. And I think it might be six hours if you don't have the upgrade. I could be wrong with that, but it's roughly around that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, please give a like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my speed cubing channel, which I'll leave a link down below. And uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Happy gaming. Cheers.